The two reasons that most business owners give when you ask them what is the purpose of their website is, well, because everybody else has it. Billy Bob is going to say, man, I have a cool new website I just spent $12,000 on because everybody else has one too. But Billy Joe there has a cool website, so I need her to get a cooler one. That's what they're thinking. That is not the correct answer. The second answer is something like, well, it's there to kind of connect me to my customers, you know, maybe make me some money. Hopefully, somebody's gonna get there someday and submit their information so that I can talk to them and potentially we can make business. Let's talk about the second option. Let's discuss how we can turn every prospect or try to turn every prospect into a lead by having the right structure on our website. But first, we need to answer a question. What type of leads are you looking for? Do you want lead forms where people fill out their information and that gets sent to your email or do you want live phone calls? From my experience, live phone calls have converted the best for my customers and clients and that is what I like. But for my own agency that I run, I use lead forms. If you're a lawyer, a dentist, a local business, what type of lead is best for you. So once you've decided the type of leads that you want, I'm gonna show you how to squeeze all the juice from the prospects that are visiting your website so you as a business owner get the most value from you having a website in the first place. So in this first example, I'm gonna show you what a form lead generation website would look like. So this is my agency website, and as you can see, this is a internal page, meaning that this is a SEO optimized page on which a person or a user from Google is gonna land on. And as you can see, the first thing they get in touch with is my opt-in form. So that is the first thing that pops up on the website as it loads. And as you can see here, I asked for a lot of the information that I need to get a potential lead, right? So it has all the questions that I need answered and then they submit it by clicking this button down below. Next, if they want to go anywhere else on the site, let's say they wanna reach out to me, they press contact and it pops out the exact same form that I had on the front. So as you can see, I'm trapping my leads into a system, well, I'm trapping my prospects into a system that are, are kind of locked into my website that sucks out all of the information that I need from them. So as we scroll down below, it actually starts talking about the uh, optimized uh, topic that I'm running, uh, gunning for, which is digital marketing in Roseville, California. And it has some content, la la la. And then at the bottom here, it has another call to action button. Now, uh, when I press this button, it goes to the same exact form, which again, generates the lead for me. Um, what I just realized is that I need to have another one of these call to action buttons somewhere higher between the text and uh, yeah, so somebody can click it as they're reading the text. So when we scroll down, I have some more SEO optimized content here and the last thing they see before they end the page is a question that prompts them to again click on the button which is going to again bring them to the same form to submit their information. So I'm capturing the lead in such a way that it's really getting the lead into, uh, I'm capturing the prospect so that they become a lead. Alrighty, and then at the bottom here, I'm just, just wanna make sure that you notice something that I think increases conversions quite high. Just having something that says safe, secure, no obligation with a lock on there really uh, helps increase the trust factor on your website. And that's what you should be looking for. So the web page itself is not finished yet. I'm actively working on this page and the other pages on my site, on my agency site. But as you can see, this example is already a pretty good example of what you should be trying to replicate if you want your uh, leads to be form leads where the lead submits their information and that information gets emailed to you. All right, so you can use, feel free to use this as an example, usefulagency.com forward slash Roseville. And again, I implore you to have some kind of form that really pops up. Uh, the first thing that they see is a form where they can submit their information and get in touch with you. That increases conversions so, so, so high. All righty. And then uh, let's look at the next example here.
and in this example it is optimized for phone calls so everywhere you're gonna look on the page uh, you're gonna be seeing an action to give us a call now this page is specifically designed as one of the internal pages uh, to where users are, are going to be coming from Google so when a, pr a potential prospect lands on this page I need them to give us a call that is the ultimate action that I'm seeking so as you can see up top here I don't even have any buttons anywhere else to click I just have a uh, button to click to give us a call uh, which is our phone number right there up top next uh, as we can see down below again i have another button speak to hearse pro uh, that does the same thing it dials the number right and then under that i have the same uh, safe secure no obligation that again just increases the conversion rates and increases the trust factor with my website so th then i have a bunch of content this is for seo purposes uh, in the middle of the content i have another button to give us a call right i'm looking for those calls as we scroll down there's more information here i have uh, another uh, kind of uh, i have the phone number here within the text which is you know something they can see and they can dial with their phone or they can actually tap it if they're on a on a mobile device and it's going to give us a call as well and then uh, up down <laughs> down here at the bottom before the content ends i have another call uh, button Alrighty. and next i have actually a review here um, with from one of our clients and I just want to say that having a reviews is a, just another trust factor uh, and it actually helps uh, SEO as well but mostly it's here for increasing the trust that when a person lands when they see a review they uh, that gives us more credibility as a company and they want to work with us and then again the last thing before uh, they get to the bottom of the page it's it's a question it's a question specifically designed to help the user realize that they need our services. So in this case, it's, are you ready to pass Title 24? Tw title 24, it's a title that you need to pass in order to complete the final inspection for a residence. So in this case, I'm urging uh, the user to take action and give us a call so they can pass that title, so they can get that final inspection done, so they can either sell or move into the property. All right, and then the, the button here, speak to Duck Texting Pro. Again, that's just, just it's just rephrasing what I'm saying. And it's uh, when, when a person clicks on that button, it's gonna give us a call. Alrighty, so you can use this example as well, ducktestingnow.com forward slash Sacramento is gonna go to this page. Again, I'm working with these pages and I'm tweaking them, but as you can see, this page does not have a lead form. It just has a bunch of buttons that all do the same thing, and that is give us a call. Alrighty, so um, you can use these uh, both of these examples. They're both great, uh, and this example is the lead form, and this example is the call form. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I'm going to answer them. Um, if you are looking to consult with me one on one, I'm going to have a link down there below. And if you're looking for the best hosting for your website, I'm going to have a link down below as well in the description. The company that I use for hosting all of my website there, they have incredible customer support and I trust them and I've been using them for a long time. So I highly recommend um, the company down there below. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, like I said, um, leave them down below and uh, go ahead and like this video. That helps me out quite a bit. And um, I'll see you on the next one.